Hi, this is Diane Dobry, and this is Intentions. And this time, Intentions is about my um, experiences related to Hungary. And this is part one. And then I will have a little bit longer part two. So some intentions I had were related to going abroad and living abroad. As a teenager, I studied French in school, and I often imagined living in France like a local. I eventually did go to France in 2001 for a visit, and it was pretty, but not as comfortable to me as I thought it would be. About five years earlier, while working at a college in New York, in the suburbs, a woman cleaning our building came into my office to sweep and remove the trash. Noticing that she spoke with an accent, I asked where she was from. She responded that she was from Poland, and I told her my heritage was Hungarian. She asked if I had ever gone to Budapest, and when I said no, she told me, if you ever visit Hungary, go to Budapest for New Year's Eve. It's the best. So about four years later, I found myself in Austria on my first trip to Europe in 2000. While waiting for a train to Vienna, I met an American family that was heading to Budapest, and I was partly jealous because I was interested in visiting the country of my heritage, but I was too scared to go to Hungary because at the time I knew nothing about the country, nor did I know the language. Two years later, I met a Hungarian server at a local restaurant who became my friend at the time, I had considered doing research in Hungary for a doctoral study, but I didn't know anyone there, nor how I could make a connection to stay there for my study. This friend ended up returning to Hungary a year and a half later in November of 2003, and he invited me to go to Hungary to visit his family and friends in Budapest on my Christmas break. The price to fly there was very reasonable at the time, so I decided to go. The day after my arrival, my first full day in the country was New Year's Eve, just as the Polish woman told me I should plan on going to Budapest. After enjoying the celebration there on New Year's Eve, my friend and I headed to southern Hungary to stay with his mother and sister. I was invited to return to Hungary in the summer to do my research and stay with the different family members. While spending time with my Hungarian friend and his family that summer, I also got to know his former college roommate, Janos, who was a great connector and owned his own business. He knew people in all kinds of fields who could help him, which helped me. I made several visits to Hungary, staying with Janos's family too, and we became like family. About five years after I stayed that summer, the college I worked at had several layoffs, and my department was disbanded. So I continued looking for a job and pursuing my doctorate. But when I was finished with my studies, I still had no job. Janos told me to come to Hungary, and he could help me get a job, and he did. I ended up teaching English language and American studies at a college south of Budapest. And while there, I was given a brand new apartment to live in, which had internet, television, a computer, a small kitchen, completely furnished. And I was also provided with a bus pass, a cell phone, and a discounted train pass, as well as a salary and medical coverage. I stayed a year there and happily lived like a local in Europe, but in a place that felt more like home to me than France did. And that's my short part one on Hungary and my intentions of going to Europe. Part two is next. Thanks for listening.